Jumpstart Explorers. Here's a time traveling secret. When it's time to exit the game, click on the time machine. Then click on the exit button. See you at Frog Manor. Welcome to Jumpstart Explorers. I'm CJ Frog. And I'm Edison Firefly. We're explorers. And you're an explorer, too. That means you can sign into my Explorer's guest book. Type in your name and click on a level. Then click on my picture or press enter. If you've already been here, click on your name below. If you've already signed in, but you don't see your name, click on the arrow buttons to find it. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Little Bumble Bear's Let's Play. I'm Kristen, and I'm here with a game from a series I absolutely loved playing as a kid. You've Time's probably been a part of my channel for Just a while and you know all and of the Jumpstart games I've done, or maybe you're new and this is your first time seeing me post a Jumpstart game in a while, but I am here with another Jumpstart game, Jumpstart Explorers. I hope you enjoy. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Are you a fellow Jumpstart fan? Maybe you even played this one and of course Time's subscribe for more Just nostalgic name and gaming check out the playlist in the description box to see all of the other jumpstart games on this channel i have so many for you to enjoy i have a twitter and instagram you can follow and a discord server open to everyone use the invite link in the description box and come say hi let's get started enjoy time's a wasting just type in your name and click on me level one Tadpoles in time! Molly, Polly, Wally, Tad, Chad, and Wart Didn't even knock, nearly broke the door Uncle CJ They all proclaimed It's boring inside We don't like rain Pond, poker, leapfrog Those games are weak I've got it, kids, let's play hide and seek Yippee! Hooray! That sounds like fun! And the poly walk split before the count of one. Let's use Uncle CJ's time machine and hide throughout history. That's Hide and Seek Extreme! This Hide and Seek game has gone astray. The time machine whisked them away. Now it's up to you to help Edison and me track down those tats for the history. It's a good thing I programmed the time machine to come back to Frog Manor. And look, the timeline is showing us where to search for those tadpoles. But first, Edison, let's give our new explorer a map of the world. Here's your map. Play games to earn points to get stickers for your map. Every 100 points earns you one sticker. It will appear here in your sticker book. You can print out your stickers after you earn them. Click on the print button to print out your map now. When you've printed out all six pages, ask an adult to help you tape your map together. Then hang it on the wall. Click on the back arrow button to go back. We'll keep the stickers you earn right here. Looks like we're ready to start searching for tadpoles. Click on the place you'd like to go to. South America, Egypt. Egypt, more than 3,000 years ago. Ah, I can see little Polly playing on the pyramids. Maybe we'll get to meet the boy king himself, King Tut. King Tut moved his royal family more than 160 miles. They began here in Akitaten and ended here in Memphis. How did King Tut do it? The Nile River, Edison, old pal. King Tut had his servants load everything onto big boats and they floated it all down the river. Here's a map of Egypt. This is the city of Akitaten, and this is Memphis. Here's your compass. It points the way to north, south, east, and west. I think I see King Tut's royal boat. Good call, my eagle-eyed assistant. 
And here are the directions. Watch and listen to the directions. Then, click on the correct compass arrows to move King Tut's royal boat. You'll learn 10 points. Ready? To west. East. West. One, two, three, north. North. One, two, three. One, west. One, two, north. One, two. Great work! Terrific! You have more points! The time machine needs time cards to power it up. But you have to choose the ones that match the place we're going. Egypt! Just click and drag the correct time cards into this slot. You'll learn five points! Hieroglyphics. Correct, Amundo! It's writing with pictures instead of words. Lotus Blossom. Correct, Amundo. The Egyptians believed the sun began in this flower. Makeup. Good call. Egyptians use makeup to help protect their skin from the hot desert sun. Egyptian amulet. Correct, Amundo. Egyptians believe that these necklaces protected them from danger. Ibis. Excellent. Great work. The time machine is all powered up. Now just click on this lever and pull it down to get us going. Terrific. You have more points. This is it, Edison, old pal. Egypt, 1359 BC. And here comes the welcoming party. I am Ankh, Queen of Egypt. Are you here for the River Festival? Uh, actually, Your Royalness, we're looking for a cute little tadpole girl named Polly. You know, small, green, dancy prancy. Have you seen her? A tadpole? Mm, no, but feel free to search everywhere until you find her. And when you do find her, please join us at the River Festival. We love festivals, don't we, guys? All right! Now, where could Polly be hiding? In the palace? Or maybe near the Great Sphinx and the Great Pyramid? Click on the place you'd like to search. The... <laughs> Pardon me, we're looking for a little green tadpole named Polly. Have you seen her? I'm sorry. I've been too busy taking care of the royal pets to see anything. <laughs> Don't you make me come in there, royal monkeys! I'm warning you! <clears throat> Excuse me. You could ask King Tut. He's out riding his royal chariot by now. Won't you be kind enough to tell me? What's the deal with the cat? <laughs> oh no, now what? I have to get the royal cat ready for the festival. Could you please give her the beauty treatment while I deal with those monkeys? I bet you're great with pets. This'll be a hoot. Okay, royal monkeys, I can <laughs> Look at this mess! That's it. No snacks. No story time! <laughs> Go ahead! Make that kitty pretty and earn 10 points. Click on the city when you're ready to search for Polly. Click and drag a beauty item over to the royal cat to use it. Mew.
Look, you earned more points. The time machine, the palace, the great sphinx, and the great... What an awesome sight! The Great Sphinx in the Great Pyramid! Oh, hello up there! Hey, have you seen a little green tadpole running around? I've got to get this new Sphinx ready for the festival. I'm too busy to notice tadpoles. Hey, maybe you can lend me a hand. There's still work to do. Looks like fun, huh? Click on the Great Sphinx to help him out and earn 10 points. Click on the Great Pyramid to look inside for Polly. The Great Pyramid. Baffling Blarney Stones. This pyramid, it's like a handmade mountain. It took thousands of hands to build it too. The Great Pyramid is made of more than two million blocks of stone. We need to check it out. Polly could be right inside. Click on the pyramid when you're ready to go inside. Hey, yo, show, show, show. You can't be painting on the walls like that. It's picture writing. The real name for it is hieroglyphics. See, some of the pictures stand for words. This one means water. Other pictures stand for sounds. Wait! This paper is from Polly's diary. What does it say? I don't know. You see, Polly likes hieroglyphs so much, she made up her own. Hey, since Polly made up her own hieroglyphs, let's call them tadpole glyphs. Wait a minute. I get it, CJ. Each one of these pictures stands for a letter of the alphabet. The first letter in that picture's name. You're right, Edison. That's it. Just type in the correct letter under each picture. You'll earn five points for figuring out these three puzzles. Click inside the box under a picture. Then type in the correct letter. D. U. C. L. Hmm. K. Duck. S. T. A. R. Star. B. O. A. T. Boat. Excellent work. You've earned more points. Hey, this looks like fun. You can write a secret message using tadpole glyphs. Go ahead, just start typing. You'll earn 10 points. If you make a mistake, just press the backspace key. Click on the print button to print out your secret message. When it prints out, the letters will disappear and all you'll see are the symbols. Click on the ABC button to print out a tadpole glyph decoder. That will help you and your friends read your message. You'll need two pages to print it out. Click on the new button to write a new message. Your old message will be erased. Print out your decoder. Look, you earned more points. Behind this wall is a secret room filled with treasures. And how do you get inside? Maybe one of these hieroglyphs is the key. Secret room? We are so there. Move your cursor over the wall. Who knows? Maybe you'll find the way in. Bingo! Haha! -ha! You discovered how to open the secret room! Great going, pal! Marvel of marvels! And what?
wonder of wonders. It's more gold than from the ends of a thousand rainbows. TJ, with all this treasure, we can turn Frog Manor into a castle of gold. Take a breather, my bright buddy. This treasure isn't ours. It belongs to some old Egyptian king. Could be King Tut's great-great-grandfather, for all we know. What use does anyone have for treasure, if they're not around to enjoy it? The Egyptians think that the old king still needs these things. They even took care of the king's body by wrapping it up in the finest cloth. You don't mean... Yup, that's what mummies are. Here, I'll show you. Take that roll of cloth and get to work, my 40-watt friend. <laughs> now here's something I can really treasure. Come on, we'll make a mummy out of CJ together. You'll earn ten points, too. You'll wrap across the front, and I'll wrap across the back, like this. Go on, take it. Now, move it across to the other side of CJ. Like this mummy's wrapped and ready to roll. More points! <laughs> now, click on me and move me into that big box. It's called a sarcophagus. That's what they put us mummies into. Well, go on, you do it. He's much too heavy for this firefly. Are you all right in there? No problem, Edison. Hey! How about letting me out now? We gotta get back on Polly's trail. Click on the sarcophagus to open it. Then click and move CJ out. Can we get going? Polly's around here somewhere. Better get these bandages off me before I flop on my flippers and fall on my face. Look, there's the loose end. Click on it and drag it out as fast as you can. How about taking this frog for a spin? Whoopee! Okay, Edison. Let's get going. Um, CJ, you've got a piece of, uh... Not now, Edison. I'm trying to decide where we should look next. Don't say I didn't try to tell him. Click on the head button until you find one you like. Next, click and drag the clip art to the Sphinx to finish it up. Click on the arrow buttons to see more clip art. And looky here, you can also print out the Sphinx when you're done. Click here when you're ready to search for Polly again. Click and drag the clip art off screen to remove it.
Vinx is super. More points. <laughs> The time machine. The just click map. Wow, oh, you stick. Sorry, you haven't earned any stickers yet. Just click on a place on the timeline to go there. The palace. I'm King Tut, ruler of all Egypt. Greetings! They're searching for a sweet little tadpole named Polly. Seen any tadpoles, King Tut? Yes! I sent Polly the tadpole on a secret mission, but I can't tell you where! Egypt is so big, we can't possibly search it all on foot. Fear not! Ride my royal chariot through the city to search for Polly, and on the way, pick up flowers for the festival. Thanks for the wheels, your highness. Press the arrow keys to move us through the maze. Help us find our way through the city and you'll earn 10 points. And you get one point for each flower. Polly, where are you? It's Uncle CJ. Time to come home now, Polly. Ready? Let's get hopping. We've got to find Polly. We're at the end of the maze. Great job. Lots more points for you. Can't wait to see the sticker you earn. The Great Sphinx and the Great Pyramid. The Great Sphinx and the Great Pyramid. The Palace. Water is very important to everyone. That's why people build cities near rivers. Just move your cursor around the screen. If you find Polly, click on her. We have a tadpole to find. Click on the arrow to keep... Just move your... You searched the pyramids. You found me by the Nile. Let's go to the feast. We'll sing and dance and smile. You found me, Uncle CJ. Hey, is Egypt cool or what? You've earned 100 points. Excellent job. That means you've won... an Egypt sticker. Click on a sticker to select it. Click on the print button to print out your sticker sheet. We have a tadpole to find. Click on the arrow to keep searching. Hey, great choice! Let us stop and sing to our glorious young king. The Nile, it flows, papyrus grows, we pamper our precious cat. Smile all along the Nile as we dance on the desert sand. The pyramids, they point up to the sky. Let us clap and sing to our glorious young king. This festival is the best ever. Let's all give a big cheer for our new friend. <laughs> It was great visiting Egypt. Thanks so much for everything. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's a present for you. So you'll always remember your visit to Egypt. 
Much appreciated, Queen Ankh. Goodbye, Goodbye everybody. everybody. <laughs> Click on the present to open it and see what they gave us. Check it out! It's an Egypt craft! That is so cool! Click on the print button to print out your craft. That sure was fun! Now it's time to get back to business. Where to next? Click on the present button to see what they gave us. Click on any tadpoles you found to see your rainy day crafts. Paper pyramids. Paper pi Cover the carpet with each. <laughs> that sure was fun. Now it's time to get back to business. Where to next? Click on the present button to see what they gave us. Rainy. Click on any tadpoles you found. <laughs> that sure was. Well, shiver me shamrocks. Molly's chased off to China. Marco Polo traveled to China looking for riches, and he went along the old Silk Road. His journey began here in Italy and ended here in China. Why on earth did they call it the Silk Road? Because people use it to go to China to buy silk and other things. They packed camels with goods to trade and headed out across the wide open desert. The desert? How did they know where to go in the middle of all that sand? Here's a map of the Silk Road. This is Venice, a city in Italy. And this is Chengdu, a city in China. Here's your compass. It points the way to north, south, east, and west. Now, CJ, what's this ship about? I thought the Silk Road was on land. Some Silk Road trips, like Marco Polo's, began on the water and moved to dry land later. Watch and listen to the directions. Then click on the correct compass arrows to move the ship. You'll learn 10 points. Ready? Two, south. East, south. One, two. Five east. One, two, three, four, five. Two north. One, two. One east. One. Great work. You burn more points. You need to find the correct time cards that belong with China. You'll learn five points. Paper fan. Correct, Amundo. Paper fans have been made in China for hundreds of years. Bamboo. Good call. These plants growing in China are very skinny, but very strong. Chopsticks. Correct, Amundo. In China, People eat with chopsticks instead of forks and knives. Silkworm. Rise on! Chinese people learn to make silk cloth from silkworm cocoons. Lion costume. Lion costume. Great work! The time machine is all powered up. Now just click on this lever and pull it down to get us going. You've earned more points. Oh, CJ, China in the year 1280. Gee, you look so familiar. Have we met? I'm Marco Polo. Explorer, and also the friend of the Emperor of China. Marco Polo? This is an honor. I'm CJ Frog, and this is Edison Firefly. We're explorers, too. The big New Year parade is about to start. I love a parade, MP. But first, we need to find a mischievous little tadpole named Molly. Have you seen her? No, but search throughout the village until you find her. 
And when you find her, please join us for the New Year's celebration. See you later, and good luck! We'll be there, Marco Polo! See you then! Click on the dragon mask to search for Molly at the parade. Click on that lantern shop to go inside and see if she's there. Paper lanterns have been made here in China for hundreds of years. Click on the lantern button to see all the different shapes. Now, click and drag pictures onto your lantern. To see more, click on these arrow buttons. Help make lanterns for the big lantern festival. You'll earn 10 points. Click on the Edison button to make your lantern light up. We'd like to stay and make more lanterns, but we've got a tadpole to find. Terrific! You have more points! The Lantern Shop. The Time Machine! The Lantern Shop! Wow, Edison! Look at that beautiful dragon head! I'd sure love to be a dragon for a day, CJ. This must be your lucky day. We just happened to need someone to wear the dragon head in the parade. Why, it would be an honor. The dragon brings good luck for the new year. But whoever wears the dragon head must be an expert in the martial arts. An expert in martial arts? Why, Edison and I have been studying martial arts for years. Just watch. <laughs> CJ and Edison, you are worthy of the honor of wearing the dragon head Press the arrow keys to move us through the maze. If you can help us find our way through the town, you'll earn 10 points. For each firecracker we pass, you get one point. Ready? Molly! I know you're around here somewhere! We're at the end of the maze! Great job! Keep burning those points! The Lantern Shop! Look at all the fruits! Delicious oranges! Happy New Year! Here! Well, I'm deeply touched. Thank you very much. An orange means that I wish you a year filled with all the things you need. And this is for good luck in the new year! Money? Of course! Paper money was invented right here in China. Just move your cursor around the screen. If you find Molly, click on her. <laughs> we have a tadpole to find. Click on the arrow to keep searching. Just all the food here has something to do with good wishes for the new year. All 
the way to China to find me what a race. Fancy silks and spices in the marketplace. Aw, uh, you guys found me! And just in time for the Lantern Festival. China is the land to see Tigers, noodles, silk and tea Celebrate the new year by Shining lanterns in the sky It's New Year's now, let's have a ball It's party time at the Great Wall Bop down to that marketplace Give that dragon a good chase China is the land to see For so long a mystery The Lantern Festival has begun, Edison old chum. Tomorrow, children will bring their lanterns to school, lighting the path to happiness. Look, CJ, there's one of the lanterns we made. It shines so beautifully. You did a good job. Now, where's that Marco Polo? He's got to be hiding here somewhere. I know how to bring that explorer out in the open. Marco! <laughs> Polo! <laughs> I've been waiting for somebody to say that. I've got someone I want you guys to meet. Kubla! <laughs> Khan! <laughs> the Emperor of China. <laughs> nice to finally meet the three of you. Marco told me all about you. We had a great time celebrating the new year here in China. But it's time to go. We would like to give you a gift. A souvenir from China. Oh, you really shouldn't have, but I'm glad you did. Come back and visit us again, everybody. <laughs> Click on the present to open it and see what they gave us. China craft! Terrific! Click on the print button to print out your craft. <laughs> that sure was fun. Now it's time to get back to business. Where to next? Click on the present button to see what they gave us. Rainy Day Craft, South America. How will Tad get around in South America, with all those mountains everywhere? The Incas built roads thousands of miles long. We call them the Royal Roads of Incas. One royal road began here, in Quito, and ended near this city, Cusco. That's a long way to drive. Hope there were plenty of gas stations along the way. They didn't have cars, Edison. They didn't even have horses. They walked. Here's a map of the Royal Road. This is Quito, and this is Cusco. Here's your compass. It points the way to north, south, east, and west. Who's that up in Quito? He's the emperor. Watch and listen to the directions. Then click on the correct compass arrows to move the emperor. You'll learn 10 points. Ready? Five east. east. One, two, three, four, five. Two south. One, two, two west. One, two, three south. One, two, three. Great work. Look at all those points. I'll bet there's a shiny new sticker in your future. You need to find the correct time cards that belong with South America. You'll learn five points. Llama. Excellent. In South America, the Incas used llamas to carry supplies. Headpiece. Good call. Incas wore different headpieces depending on the village they lived in. 
Reed boat. Excellent. Inca fishermen made them by tying bundles of reeds together. Bridge guard. Correct, Amundo. He made sure the Inca rope bridges stayed strong. Leaving a blanket. Great work. The time machine is all powered up. Now just click on this lever and pull it down to get us going. That's more points for you. Can't wait to see the sticker you earn. Ah, yes. South America. The year is 1532. Pardon me, have you seen a little tadpole around here? I didn't see any tadpoles, but I've been running all day. I'm one of the messengers. Each one of us runs carrying a package as fast as we can to the next stop along the Royal Road. There, we passed the next messenger. Sounds kind of like a relay race to me. So why don't you just kick back and relax? I can't. I still have to bring this package to the Emperor. Maybe we should give him a hand and take the package to the Emperor. Well, which way should we go? Click on the city to go to the Emperor. Or click on the llama to go to the countryside. The llama. Pardon me, uh, we're looking for a little tadpole. He goes by the name of Tad. Have you seen him? All I see are llamas every day. They're the most important animal to us, and it's my job to help take care of them. Why is the llama so important? You can't even ride on it. Llamas can carry lots of things. They even give us wool that we can use to make clothing and blankets. It looks to this explorer like llamas are a llama rama ding dong delight. Uh, yeah. Well, I have to leave now to take care of the other llamas. Would you mind combing and feeding this one for me? Go ahead. We'll give you the honors. And you'll earn five points. Click on the comb and move it over the llama to comb her woolly coat. I'll bet she'd like some of that tasty grass, too. Click on some to pick it up. Then feed her. Click on the back arrow button when you're through taking care of the llama. She's looking hungry. Why don't you feed her some grass? More points! You'll earn a sticker in no time. That llama's looking good. Now that's one happy llama. It's a good thing, too, because it's time to load her up. Load the llama with crops so I can take them to the storehouse. Crops are things that we grow from the ground, like corn and cotton. Not quite. Well, thanks. Well, if that doesn't cure the corn beef, llamas are the rudest animals ever. Not so fast, my furious friend. I think that llama's trying to tell us something. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Llamas don't like to carry too many things. And that's... How they tell you the load is too heavy. Sorry, my little llama friend. We've got to take something off this llama's back. Go ahead. Click on the llama's pouch to take something out. Look at all those points. I'll bet there's a shiny new sticker in your future. 
You've earned 100 points. Excellent job. That means you've won... A China sticker! Click on a sticker to select it. Click on the print button to print out your sticker sheet. We have a tadpole to find. Click on the arrow to keep searching. I'd have chosen that one too. The llama. Help us find our way to the emperor and earn 10 points. You'll earn one point for each mask you pick up. Press the arrow keys to move us through the maze. Ready? Special delivery for the Emperor. Thank you. Fresh fish from the sea. Fresh fish? But the ocean is more than 150 miles away. It's the royal roads and the messengers that make it easy to move things really fast. We'll share this fish at the Big Sun Festival today. Pardon me, Mr. Emperor. Um... We're looking for a little tadpole named Tad. Have you seen him, sir? Uh, can't say that I have, but I hope to see you at the Sun Festival later today. The city! This is a kipu. We use this to keep track of how many people are in a village, how many llamas each person cares for, you know, things like that. Oh, I get it. Taking notes with knots. Just move your cursor around the screen. If you find Tad, click on him. She's weaving a blanket from yarn made of llama wool. That loom she's using is easy to carry anywhere. Excuse me, are those potatoes you're growing? That's right, here's an Inca secret. If you freeze your potatoes, then dry them. They last almost forever. Then just mix them with a little water and bing! They taste great! Spuds that don't spoil? They're like a dream come true. Up here in the mountains, we grow potatoes because they grow well in cooler weather. We grow corn way down below. South America, what did you do? Learned about llamas and Inca too. Looked in the mountains down by the shore. Now you found me, let's play some more. <laughs> you found me. These mountains make great hiding places, huh, Uncle CJ? High up in the mountains, down to the land that's by the sea. Fishing, farming, building, weaving, woolen clothes, and pottery. Load up the llama, they don't care. They can climb a mountain, go anywhere. Don't load her down or she just might spit at you. Oh, you got that right. The Inca is our leader. He looks after everyone. We sing, we dance, we play together. At the 
the festival of the sun. It was really nifty visiting the Incas. Yeah, nifty. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's a package for you. So you'll always remember your visit. May the sun glitter like gold on your Inca Sun Festival. Goodbye, everybody! <laughs> Click on the present to open it and see what they gave us. It's an Inca craft! All right! Click on the print button to print out your craft. That sure was fun. Now it's time to get back to business. Where to next? Click on the present button to see what they gave us. Plymouth, Plymouth Colony. Say, that's where the pilgrims lived. The pilgrims began their journey here in Plymouth, England. And here's where the journey ended, Plymouth Colony. Wow, those pilgrims sure had a long way to go. <laughs> you bet your batteries. 102 of them squeezed into a wooden ship called the Mayflower. They sailed for 66 days, teetering and tottering across the ocean waves. Talk about seasick. Here's a map of the Pilgrim's Route. Here's Plymouth, England on the right. And there's Plymouth Colony on the left. Here's your compass. It points the way to north, south, east, and west. Looky there, CJ. That looks like the Mayflower. Good call, little buddy. And here are the directions. Watch and listen to the directions. Then click on the correct compass arrows to move the Mayflower. You'll learn 10 points. Ready? One north. north. One. Three west. East, west. One, two, three. Two south. East, one, two, three, west. East, west, one, two, three. Great work. Keep burning those points. You need to find the correct time cards that belong with Plymouth Colony. You'll learn five points. Mayflower. Correct, Amundo. It's the Pilgrim ship. House with a thatched roof. Good call. That's a house from Plymouth Colony. Corn. Good call. Corn helped the Pilgrim survive. Musket. Correct, Amundo. Some pilgrims own this kind of gun. Pumpkin. Great work. The time machine is all powered up. Now just click on this lever and pull it down to get us going. Keep burning those points. Here we are, Edison. Plymouth Colony, 1621. Look, someone's here to greet us. William Bradford here, governor of Plymouth. You've come at the perfect time. We're preparing for the big harvest feast. Edison and CJ here. Has anyone around here seen a tadpole named Wally? Certainly not, but please, Search high and low. Thanks a bunch, Gov. Layden Street is this way, and the cornfield is that way. Where should we go? Click on a sign. Gather corn. We're time-traveling explorers. I'm CJ Frog. And I'm Edison Firefly. Don't be shy. 
Tell Francis your name. Hello, strangers. Francis Billington's my name. We're looking for a wee one, greenish in color, wearing a baseball cap. Have you seen him? Not with all this corn to gather. What, may I ask, is baseball? Oh, well, that's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're planting more corn. Yes, why corn is so important. Without it, we'd starve. I remember. Squanto taught you to plant corn. Aye, so it grows tall as the trees. I can teach you if you'd like. Teach me to plant corn. I'm all ears. Sure, but please help us gather corn, too, before the animals eat it all. What should we do, CJ? I'd like to learn how to plant corn. We could help in the field and find Wally, too. What do you want to do? Click on the path through the cornfield to help gather the corn. Click on the hoe to plant corn. Click on me if you want me to show you how to plant corn. Gather corn. Gather. This cornfield is just like a maze. How will we ever find our way out of here? Can you help? You'll earn 10 points for helping us find our way out of the maze. And you'll get one point for each ear of corn you collect on the way. Press the arrow keys to move us through the maze. Ready? Here, Wally. Ali, Ali, umpton free. Please help us out of this maze. Ta da! Our work here is finished. Thanks for helping us find our way out of the corn maze. Look, Edison, a party. Look at all those points. I'll bet there's a shiny new sticker in your future. This is the most fun. After the corn's gathered, we play a game to see who can husk the most ears in the shortest time. See how many you can do. Click on the top of the corn. Then, hold down your mouse button and pull down the husk. Make sure you pull it off the screen. Do the same on the other side. Then, click and drag the corn into the basket. You get one point for each ear of corn you husk. Remember to move the husk all the way off the screen. H-U-S-K, who is gonna win today, husk? Remember to move the husk all the way off the screen. C-O-R-N, no one's faster than our friend, corn. Go, 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 go. go. Keep on husking. Yay, team! Time's up! Here's how many years of corn you've husked! Why, you're a corn husking hero! You did a fine job! Click on the hourglass to husk more corn. Click on the back arrow button to continue searching for Wally. Click on the timer to husk more corn. Where should we go now? The cornfield. The time machine. Say, Edison, looks like those chickens are enjoying a harvest feast of their own. Hi, a feast of corn. Corn is a wondrous thing. I'm Mary Brewster. Pleased to meet you. We're looking for a little shaver of a tadpole named Wally. Can't say that I've seen any tadpoles. Maybe you should visit Elizabeth Hopkins in one of those houses across the way. 
you know, <laughs> feeding those chickens looks like fun. Why don't you let our friend here help you? But of course. Click and drag the corn to feed the chickens. Go for it. Feed the chickens and earn five points. Elizabeth Hopkins' house. Elizabeth Look Hopkins' at all those house. Points. I'll bet there's a shiny new sticker in your future. Goodness, visitors! I'm Elizabeth Hopkins. Who might you be? CJ Frog here. And Edison Firefly, at your service. We're looking for a little green tadpole. Named Wally. Have you seen him? Heavens no. I've been in this kitchen since early this morning. So much to do, and so little time. I know some explorers who'd like to help. Help Elizabeth prepare for the feast and earn 10 points. Ah, splendid. Here's all you need to do. Place two napkins on the table. One, two, put three grapes into the basket on the table. One, two, three, hand the platter of boiled lobster to Francis. Put two crabs into the pot. One, two, place three cups on the table. One, two, three, put two sticks in the fire. One, two, good day. Thanks for all the help. See you later, Elizabeth. We've got a tadpole to search for. Look at all those points. I'll bet there's a shiny new sticker in your future. You've earned 100 points. Excellent job. That means you've won... A Plymouth sticker! That sticker is out of sight! We have a tadpole to find. Click on the arrow to keep searching. Hey there, I'm Gilbert Winslow. You must be the two I've heard so much about. That's us! We're searching for a little green tadpole named Wally. Seen him? Can't say that I have, but I've had my eye on this target all day long. Why don't you search in the woods? Or search on our ship, the Mayflower. Hmm, woods or Mayflower? Click on the place we should look next. How about a bow and arrow contest? You might even learn more about life. <laughs> Click and drag an arrow to the bow. Move your cursor over a target to aim the arrow. Then click to send it flying. When a question appears at the top of the screen, aim for the target that shows the correct answer. For each correct shot, you'll earn 10 points. Ready? The pilgrims cross the ocean in... Good aim! This might be a chore for a pilgrim child. That's right! Which of these was not on the table at the first harvest feast? That's right! Learning about Plymouth Colony is cool, but we need to find Wally. The woods.
woods. Mayflower. Catch you later, Gilbert. Good luck finding your little tadpole. Can you imagine? More than 100 people traveled in this small ship for 65 days. We have a tadpole to find. Click Mayflower. I know you're around here somewhere! Wally! CJ, this is no time for goofing around! I'm caught in a deer trap! Can you believe it? It looks more like a frog trap to me! William Bradford, one of the pilgrims, also got caught in a deer trap! Ha! Explorers like us are always getting into crazy pickles! Hey, you're not a deer! No, but I am my mother's dear son. Does that count? <laughs> my name's Hayaku. And I'm CJ Frog, upside down explorer and tester of deer traps. I'll need help to get you down from there. Say, how about a hand? Click and drag me to the ground, okay? Ah, that's much better. But my foot's still stuck. You can use my hatchet to cut the rope. Click on it, then drag it over the rope to cut it. Excellent work! See you later, CJ and Edison. Go ahead, help us search here in the woods. Just move your cursor around the screen. If you find Wally, click on him. Well, I'll be, you found me. Boy, I'm glad to see ya. Jim Jimmery, you found me. Let's go to the harvest feast. Ah, you found me. I did a good job hiding, didn't I, Uncle CJ? Welcome, everyone, to the harvest feast and a special welcome to our guests, CJ, Edison, and Wally. down here at the rock. Amazing Ooh, this is one stuffed frog. That harvest feast was fabulous. I'm almost too full to fly. Well, everybody, it's time for these explorers to hit the road. Wait, before you go, we wanted to give you something. It's just a little present from all of us. Gee, thanks, everybody. It was great visiting Plymouth and meeting all of you. We had fun meeting you, too. Good luck. <laughs> Click on the present to open it and see what they gave us. A Plymouth Colony craft. Out of sight! Click on the print button to print out your crab. That sure was fun. Now it's time to get back to business. Antarctic looks like Chad and Wart decided to chill out in Antarctica. Good thing Roald Amundsen is there. 
in case they run into trouble. Why on earth would anyone want to visit such a cold place? Roald Amundsen wanted to be the first person to visit the bottom of the Earth, the South Pole. That's in Antarctica. His journey began at the Bay of Wales and ended at the South Pole. That's a long way to go in that frozen land. You bet your Blarney Stone. It took him two months, too. Here's a map of Antarctica. Here's Roald Amundsen's camp. They called it Framheim. And there's the South Pole. Here's your compass. It points the way to north, south, east, and west. Looks like those dog sleds are loaded up and ready to go. For the final run to the South Pole, the team set out on skis. Watch and listen to the directions. Then, click on the correct compass arrows to move the team. You'll learn 10 points. Ready? Three south. East, south. One, two, three, two, west. One, two, two, south. One, two, one. one. Great work. Keep burning those points. You need to find the correct time cards that belong with Antarctica. You'll learn five points. Emperor Penguin. Correct, Amundo. The largest penguin in Antarctica. Adelaide Penguin. Rise on! There are more Adelaide Penguins in Antarctica than any other kind. Arctic hare. Arctic hare. Nice try. Arctic hares make their home around the North Pole. Ice pick. Correct, Amundo. That's an important tool when you go into icy places like the South Pole. Squid. Correct, Amundo. Squid are food for whales seals, and other animals in Antarctica. Frozen thermometer. Great work! The time machine is all powered up. Now just click on this lever and pull it down to get us going. Look at all those points. I'll bet there's a shiny new sticker in your future. <laughs> My flippers! Antarctica is one cold place. Achoo. Hello, strangers! Look, it's Roald Amundsen. We're looking for a couple of tadpoles named Chad and Wart. Haven't seen any tadpoles around here, but it's way too cold for you to be looking for anyone in those clothes. You've got to lay for Antarctica. Step inside. You can borrow some clothes. Now that that's a warm welcome, if ever I've heard one. You've got to layer up. That means wearing clothes on top of clothes on top of clothes. It's how you stay warm in this snow desert. Click on these buttons to layer up CJ and Edison. Keep clicking on a button to see all of the choices. Underwear, sweaters, and pants, hats, shoes, and other things. You already, you already, shoes, and other things. Underwear and socks. Sweaters and pants. Hats, gloves, and scarves. Shoes and other things. You did a fine job. Now they're ready for the final layer. This very toasty coat. Look at all those points. I'll bet there's a shiny new sticker in your future. That's one cold cursor. Hang on. 
That should do the job. Okay, everybody, here's what you can do. You can search the cairn, or you can search the frozen land. You'll need my dog sled for that. If you get lost, our sled dogs will find the way back. Tisk tisk. Decisions, decisions. Why don't you decide? Click on the cairn to go check it out. Click on the dog sled to explore the frozen land. The time machine. Kay. Good luck searching for your little tadpoles. And please join us for dinner later. Say, what are all those stones for? Hanson here. I'm building a cairn. That's what Roald Amundsen was talking about. What's a cairn, Mr. Hanson? A cairn is a pile of stones. We use them as markers. Look around you. All you see is snow, snow, snow. You'd get lost in a hurry if you didn't have cairns to mark the way. We also use them kind of like mailboxes. I can leave a message for my explorer friends inside a cairn. When they pass by later, they can stop and read my message. So, they're more than just a big pile of stones after all. Cairns are so cool. Everything is cool here in Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> Say, we're looking for a couple of wee ones. Tadpoles named Chad and Wart. I thought I saw a flash of green a while ago. Why not look through these cairns? Maybe your tadpoles are hiding behind one of them. Press the arrow keys to move us through the maze. Help us find our way through the cairn, and you'll earn 10 points. You get one point for each stone we pick up. Ready? now, Chad and Wart could be very close by. We're at the end of the maze! Great job! Look at all those points! I'll bet there's a shiny new sticker in your future! You've earned 100 points! Excellent job! That means you've won... an Antarctica sticker! Click on a sticker to select it. Click on the print button to print out your sticker sheet. We have a tadpole to find. Click on the arrow to keep searching. Hey, great choice! Not to get the cairns are shaped like letters. Two letters to be exact. C and J. Now who do you suppose would... This looks like the work of none other than two time-traveling tadpoles. Of course! <gasps> hey, wanna check inside and see if there's a hidden message? That's a rock-solid idea, my bright and shining sidekick. And you'll earn five points if you find a message. Click on the stones and drag them aside. A message could be anywhere underneath. There's a message. Dear Uncle CJ and Edison, since you haven't found us yet, We'll give you a hint. Just look for the color white. Yours truly, Chad and Wart. Look, you earned more points. Come on, Edison. We've got to look for the color white. Now let me think. White, white. What could be white? Allow me to say a big duh, duh, duh.
the time the machine. Frozen land. This looks like fun. I'm not sure about this. Maybe I should try. Edison, my fidgety friend, stop worrying. I have everything under control. Maybe you should try. Use the right arrow key to move the dog sled. The up and down arrow keys move the sled back and forth. All you see is a white world of snow and ice. It goes on forever. The weather is so cold that very few animals or plants can even live here. The temperature can be as low as minus 70 degrees. And the wind is howling. Heaven, CJ. Someone spilled dog biscuits all over the snow. Here's an idea. Let's use them to play a fun dog sled game to see how much you know about Antarctica. We can give the dogs a treat at the same time. A question will appear at the top of the screen. If it is true, move the dog sled over a green dog biscuit. If it is false, move the dog sled over a red dog biscuit. For each correct answer, get five points. Ready? Whales like to eat krill. On. Penguins build nests of grass. That's right. The blue whale is the largest fish. Kind of tricky, huh? Crab eater seals eat krill. Yep. In Antarctica, the snow melts each summer. Correctamundo. Of course! Why, there are enough penguins to make a penguin parade! Professor Bing, check out that hilarious walk! Wow, wow, wow. It really gives me the chuckles! <laughs> CJ, what is it that penguins like to do most? Hang out with other penguins for one thing. They're social animals. That means they like hanging out together. A group of penguins is called a rookery. But they're also great at fishing. And in summer, they really, really like to build nests out of stones. They're so crazy about it that they steal stones from one another. It's their favorite pastime. Those penguins can fly through the water like most birds fly through the air. Those are squid. They make a tasty meal for lots of bigger animals. That humpback whale is eating krill. That's what all those little shrimp-like animals are. Krill are really important to the whole food chain down here at the bottom of the world. Whales, the biggest fish in the sea. Whales aren't fish at all. They're mammals. Whales? Singing? But why would a whale sing? Nobody knows for sure, but that's probably the way they talk to each other. I gotta say it, these seals are really cute. They look like they're always small. But <laughs> check out those whiskers. They haven't shaved in weeks. What a whale of a tail, what a seal of a deal. You sped in your sled and you found us, found us for real. You found us, Uncle CJ. That was the best hide and seek game ever. It's a race, not a chase, to the bottom of the top. Hurry up, huskies, go, go, don't stop. Pop, 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 penguins, seals, whales, and krill is all we see as we sail.
set sail. Come on, penguins, do your thing. That's wonderful. Oh, goodness gracious, that's lovely. It's a wonderful harmony. Then. Bundle up, bundle up, it's time to go through the land of endless snow. Ah, this frog is filled to the gills. Explorers need their energy. Have more bread with whortleberry jam. I've eaten so much I might just turn into a wattleberry. What is a wattleberry anyway? It's small and red, and it grows on bushes in my home country, Norway. Here's a present, so you'll always remember your visit to Antarctica. Shucks, you shouldn't have. Thanks for everything. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Stay warm. <laughs> Click on the present to open it and see what they gave us. It's an Antarctica crab. They're the coolest. Get it? <laughs> Click on the print button to print out your craft. That sure was fun. Now it's time to get back to business. Where to next? Click on the present button to see what they gave us. You found those tadpoles one by one. You learned a lot and had ski daddles of fun. 3,000 years in just one day. Are any tadpoles ready for a nap? No way! Soon. You can make all of these crafts, too. Just click on the gift button. Click here to exit the game. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed exploring. Give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below which area was your favorite that we visited. And of course, subscribe for more nostalgic gaming. Don't forget the playlist in the description box to see all the other Jumpstart games on this channel. Remember, you are special and loved. You are never alone. You're always welcome to come back and hang out anytime. Until the next video, God bless. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Are you sure you want to exit?